Welcome, fellow aviation enthusiasts and true crime aficionados. Tonight, we delve into one of the most enduring enigmas in aviation history, the case of D.B. Cooper. On a seemingly ordinary night in November 1971, a Boeing 727 became the stage for a meticulously planned crime that continues to baffle investigators and captivate the public imagination. D.B. Cooper, a name now synonymous with audacity, hijacked the plane with a cleverly worded note claiming a bomb. His demands were specific, four parachutes and $200,000 in cash. Passengers and crew, caught off guard, became unwilling participants in a high-stakes gamble. Following a tense standoff and a refueling stop, Cooper vanished into the night sky over the rugged wilderness of Washington State. He took the money, the parachutes, and a piece of aviation history with him. Did he survive the jump? Who was he truly? These questions have haunted the Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI for over five decades and fueled countless theories. Transition with a smooth airplane whooshing sound. To fully understand the enigma, we must begin with the man himself. D.B. Cooper, a moniker likely assumed, offered no clues to his true identity. Described as a calm, well-dressed man in his mid-forties, he ordered a bourbon and soda, a detail that fueled speculation about possible military or aviation experience. The FBI meticulously combed through passenger manifests and interviewed everyone who interacted with Cooper. Theories proliferated. Was he a disgruntled airline employee seeking revenge? A Vietnam veteran with a hidden past? The lack of a definitive profile only deepened the mystery. On November 24, 1971, Northwest Airlines Flight 305 departed Portland, Oregon, for Seattle. Mid-flight, Cooper passed a note to flight attendant Tina Mucklow, claiming a bomb in his briefcase. The note, devoid of overt threats, outlined his demands with chilling clarity. For parachutes, $200,000 in cash, and a full tank of fuel. Panic rippled through the cabin, yet Cooper remained surprisingly composed. He negotiated with pilot Leroy Russ, Ransbury as the FBI scrambled to fulfill his demands. The plane landed in Seattle, transforming the aircraft into a tense standoff witnessed by a captivated nation. Following a lengthy negotiation and refueling, the plane took off again, this time with Cooper on board and significantly less fuel. Somewhere over the dense wilderness of Washington, Cooper ordered the crew to the front of the aircraft. He then vanished into the storm, equipped with the parachutes and ransom money. An agonizing wait ensued. The landing gear was lowered in a desperate attempt to slow Cooper's descent. However, when the plane touched down safely in Reno, Nevada, their worst fears were confirmed. Cooper was gone. A nationwide search and lingering hope. A massive manhunt blanketed the region. The FBI scoured the vast wilderness for any sign of Cooper or the stolen money. Days turned into weeks, then months, with no breakthrough. Then, eight years later, a young boy made a startling discovery. A partially decomposed $20 bill on the banks of the Columbia River. The serial number matched the ransom money. A surge of excitement rippled through the investigation. Could this be the key to unlocking the mystery? Unfortunately, the lead went cold. More bills surfaced over the years, but none offered definitive answers. The search for D.B. Cooper, a man who seemingly vanished into thin air, continues to this day. Theories and potential suspect the absence of a clear resolution has fueled countless theories. Did Cooper survive the jump? Was he a professional criminal or a desperate individual driven? 